Hello dear friends and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. It's good to see that some of you are actually watching these videos and I thank you for taking the time to do that. I feel that in these modern times people just don't take the time out to listen and reflect on God's word. I was recently blessed in the fact that I was able to find on eBay a church altar and hymn book from 1864 selling for less than £10 and it helped me to realise how much times have changed in a relatively short space of history. In fact, I would just like to read some of what it says about the Bible. So I hope you enjoyed this small piece. O oh, Heavenly Father, Thine eye is upon me now. Keep me from all wandering thoughts while I am in Thy house of prayer. Help me to worship Thee in spirit, and bless to me what I shall hear of Thy holy word. For Christ my Saviour's sake. Amen. Remembering that this was written to be said at the beginning of a church service, it is amazing how true it is of us today, as it was when it was written nearly 150 years ago. Too often, people allow their minds to wander, and just listen to what God has to say for his word, so that we may be blessed by it. Please be sure to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk I seem to be adding new stuff to that site all the time, and I hope that as well as honouring God, it's something of interest to you as well. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Exodus, chapter 20 God spoke all these words, saying, I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourselves an idol, nor any image or anything that is in the heavens above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow yourself down to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh your God, am a jealous God, visiting the inequity of the fathers and the children, on the third and on the fourth generation of those who hate me, and showing love and kindness to thousands of those who love me, and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of Yahweh your God in vain, for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless, who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy. You shall labour six days and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to Yahweh your God. You shall not do any work in it, you, nor your son, nor your daughter, your male servant, nor your female servant, nor your livestock, nor your stranger who is within your gates, for in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore Yahweh blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. Honour your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land in which Yahweh your God gives you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbour. You shall not desire your neighbour's house. You shall not desire your neighbour's wife, or his male servant, or his female servant, or his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbour's. All the people received the thundering, the lightnings, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking. When the people saw it, they trembled and stayed at a distance. They said to Moses, Speak with us yourself, and we will listen. But don't let God speak with us, lest we die. Moses said to the people, don't be afraid, for God has come to test you, and this fear may be before you, that you won't sin. The people stayed at a distance. Moses came near to the thick darkness where God was. Now he said to Moses, this is what you shall tell the children of Israel. You yourselves have seen, I have talked with you from heaven. You shall most certainly not make alongside of me gods of silver or gods of gold for yourselves. You shall make an altar of earth for me and shall sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and your peace offerings, your sheep and your cattle. In every place where I record my name, I will come to you and I will bless you. If you make me an altar of stone, you shall not build it of cut stones, for if you lift up your tool on it, you have polluted it. You shall not go up by steps to my altar, that your nakedness may not be exposed to it. Exodus 20 